Here we are with Carnegie starring the Dr. Cook. Michael, will you show us what's new, please? Sure, come on in. So our collection that's launching in August is going to have four new Creation Bauman mm -hmm. products. This is a double width shear called Santana. Mm -hmm. um, we are reintroducing one of our classics, which uh, we had sold under the Maharani name, and we're calling this one Porto. This is a 100% Trevira CS polyester version of Maharani. Um, we're recoloring a top seller, which is Ponte, mm -hmm. also 100% Trevira CS polyester. And then we're doing a coordinate stripe called Brigato. Most of these come in 120 inch width, Michael? Uh, no, three of them are single width. The only double width is the Santana. Okay. So then in addition to that, we're launching... Pull these out. Uh, a collection of fabrics that I guess is probably intended for healthcare, okay. but we think it has application in hospitality, mm -hmm. corporate, residential. These are done out of recycled polyester fibers. This one put into a color strip for you. These are done out of recycled polyester fibers. They're going to be stocked with Nanotex and Durablock. Okay. So the Nanotex is a stain repellency that's a treatment that's done on the face. Okay. Unlike other stain repellent uh, treatments, the Nanotex is there for the life of the product. Okay. So it can't be rubbed off, can't be cleaned off. It bonds on the molecular level, so it's always there. Preferable to Krypton in a patient room, Michael? Well, it's going to give you a little additional um, durability over okay. Krypton. Okay. The Krypton is a great product, uh -huh. but what a lot of people don't know is that if uh, the cleaning crew scrubs a Krypton upholstery with a solvent-based cleaner, uh -huh. they ac they've actually stripped the Krypton off from the face of the fabric. Okay. So with Nanotex, because it bonds on a molecular level, right? it can't ever be stripped away. Okay, and what are we seeing on the walls here, Michael? Uh, there's a whole combination of things. We're launching uh, the next generation of Sorel, which we're calling Sorel Slide. Okay. So this is what's called a warp planted stripe. Uh -huh. Typically the striations in Sorel are achieved in the fill yarns, right. which is why they're horizontal. Uh -huh. So this is a vertical stripe Sorel. Okay. Um, this is the Regato, which is uh, part of the Creation Bauman. Uh -huh. um, launch for this year. Many of these Creation Bauman fabrics can either be window fabrics, they can be paper backed for direct glue wall covering, or they work beautifully on these acoustical panels. Okay. So and this is a Nova wall. As we move to this wall here, can you talk about the Zarel that we're looking at on the wall, Michael? Yeah. Um, Zarel started out, we started almost 30 years ago with Zarel, uh -huh. mainly solids and textures, very modern, very monolithic in how it installed really this kind of seamless type of material for contract interiors. Right. We've been on a very definite course of evolving the product line of Sorel. Okay. So uh, three, four years ago, we first partnered with a company um, out of France and launched Sorel Embossed. Right. From Sorel Embossed, we um, launched, and probably the only place to see it, we have underneath here, okay. what's called Sorel Embroider. Okay. So we're taking the Sorel monofilament yarn and we're embroidering these motifs onto the face of a plain cloth. Okay. Doesn't change the performance of the Sorel at all. Okay. Makes it highly decorative. Okay. Completely different look for Sorel. Now we know Sorel is beautiful, but what about the durability of Sorel? Oh, the durability of Sorel is, as an upholstery, it's a million double rubs. Wall treatment? As a wall treatment, the tensile strength of the Zarel is so high that, for instance, if you use it in a corridor for mm. health care, for any kind of a public area, uh -huh. and a cart or a wheelchair or something hits the wall, right. the substrate of the wall will fail before right. the surface of the Zarel would ever break. Can you clean with bleach? And what about scrubbability? You can clean it with bleach. It's an the product is inherently antimicrobial okay. and antibacterial. Uh -huh. You can clean it with bleach and water, you can clean it with any kind of liquid cleaning solution. And unlike any other woven, we have a proprietary process that seals the woven layer to the paper layer. Uh -huh. When that's applied to the wall, it means that the cleaning crew can literally flood the surface of the wall with any kind of liquid and it will not wick water through to the substrate. You will not have mold, you will not have delamination with Zarel. Okay. It's unique to Zarel. It's a special, any other yarn, any other wall covering, 
You flood it with water, and the nature of a yarn is that it wicks water right, through. Right, right. The Zarel, because of this proprietary process, will not do that. Then how were you able to create the graphic Zarel that we're seeing over here? All right, so with the graphic Zarel, it's, this is where art is illustrating the structure of the material. Mm -hmm. So we're taking the base paper, and we're printing on it, and then we're using the clear Zarel or transparent Zarel yarns as the overlay. Wow. And the ballpark price on the graphics real Michael. So the graphics price out around fifty dollars per yard. Okay. The plain cloth, which are the solids and textures, price out uh, high twenties. Okay. We're at fifty for the graphic. Right. Slide, which is the uh, warp planted stripe. Right. Is in the thirties. Okay. And the uh, Zarel embroider is anywhere from sixty to about eighty dollars per yard. Okay. Depending on the amount of embroidery that it okay. has. Okay. Now I'm going to put you on the spot, Michael. Sure. Can you spill a little bit of coffee on this on this oh, chair, absolutely. and let's just see how well this nanotech yeah, yeah, with yeah, the Durbot yeah. cleans up. Wait, those aren't treated. I will do it on another sample. Yeah, do it on here. Yeah. So these these products are what's called the true barrier fabric. Yes, sir. These are not only not only do they have this kind of repellency on the face. Right. Right. So this could be water, it could be Coca-Cola, it could be red wine. Right. It doesn't it could be urine, it can be blood, it okay. doesn't really matter. Right. They're always gonna roll up like that and not penetrate the actual yarns. Okay. Because the yarns have been resin impregnated with this kind of nanotechnology. Okay. But in addition to that, these products are stocked with a barrier on the back that even if the cleaning crew were to aggressively flood the face of it, right. they could not force water through the weave structure and into the foam. What about cleanability with bleach? Uh, the cleanability with bleach has to do with the fiber. It doesn't okay. have anything to do with the treatment. Okay. So if you have a solution dyed fiber, right. you can clean with bleach. If okay. it's not a solution dyed fiber, you can't. Okay. Now what would happen, this is not solution dyed, what would happen is you would crock the color out of the yarn, right? but the stain repellency would remain. Okay, and let's conclude with talking about any green certifications from Carnegie, Michael? <clears throat> sure. Um, the Zarel is completely cradle to cradle certified. It's SCS certified. It passes California 1350, which is a third party um, standard that's stricter than Green Guard. Okay, what about your Surface IQ, which is a replacement for vinyl? Yeah, the Surface IQ is the same. Um, SCS certified, uh, cradle to cradle certified. Both of these products are completely PVC free, they're chlorine free, they're halogen free, they're phthalate free. Yeah. A lot of the toxic chemistry that plagues most synthetics is not a part of either the Zarel category or the Surface IQ category. Does it give you the same durability as a Type 2 vinyl? Yeah, this passes all of the same Type 2 uh, durability requirements of standard vinyl wall cover. Alright, last question. Do you have any cradle to cradle certified cubicles yet? We do. Um, we have a collection of cubicles that's done out of what's called eco-intelligent polyester. Okay. So. Um, in the production of polyester, they use a ter terrific amount of heavy metal binders. Right. Um, what we're trying to do as an industry is to eliminate these heavy metal binders. All right. So um, our cubicle, we have one called Urban Innovations, and I don't know if we have an example of it here. That's all right. Take a bow, Mr. Cook. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. That was.